Hi everyone, my name is Natalie and I'm here to teach you a bar class. So we're going to do a circuit style. So we're going to do four circuits total. We'll have cardio in each, we'll do an upper body in each, a core work exercise, and then um, either thigh or seat, one of the two. So we're going to start with a little warm up. I'm going to put on some music. I just want you guys to move your body. So I'm going to march in place. If it feels better for you to do squats or jumping jacks, do that. I just want you to bring your heart rate up a little bit and get your muscles moving. So here comes our music. All right. So if you're marching with me, we're going to lift opposite arm, opposite leg. Get nice and toasty. Belly is pulled in here. Your legs come straight out from your body. We're going to find a twist at the core. We're going to goal post those arms in four, three, two, and one. Goal post those arms. Same movement with your legs. We're just twisting at the belly. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna get right into thigh work. I'm gonna have you guys turn and face either a chair, or you can use a table, a countertop, you can even just use a wall. It's just there for a little balance. Feet are gonna be hip distance apart, parallel to one another, belly zips in here. We're gonna lift those heels high, and then we're gonna bend the knees and slide them with like we're sliding down the wall. Shoulders stay over those hips, hips stay over your heels, and then keep that head nice and tall. Gaze out in front of you. You should start to feel the thighs firing up here. Then we're gonna come down another inch. Don't forget to breathe. And try not to lean into this, right? So we're not leaning onto that assist. We're holding ourselves up by our legs, by our thighs. And we're gonna come lower in just a second here. If you're not feeling this, your heels might be too low. You want to make sure you're on the balls of the feet. Come down another inch. If we're looking for a shake in the thighs. We want that shake to start to occur. And you stay with that shake as long as you can, all right? You can bring your hand to your hip if that feels good. Check in with the core. Your belly's pulling in. Ribs are getting together. So we got one more lower. And three, two, and one, come on down one more inch, find that shake, stick with it. Here's eight, seven, six, you've got this, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up, shake out those legs real quick. We're gonna do our upper body next. So I want you guys to bring feet the distance apart again. You can stay facing the way you work if you'd like to. Hinge forward at those hips, belly hips in. So there's no arch in my spine here, right? It's nice and flat, it's the core engaged. We're gonna lift the arms up, palms face behind you. So they're gonna face behind you the whole time. They're not gonna change. They want you straight up from your shoulders. So make sure you're not too far back or too far forward, straight up. Belly hips in, this is gonna work that back shoulder. Got an option here to lift your heels if you want a little extra work. And then those arms are arrow straight. We're gonna lift an inch. So just lift up an inch here. Good. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Come on, you've got this lift. Lift, lift, lift. Here's four, three, almost through it. Two, we're gonna hold right here on the one. So perfect form here, bend those knees, shift the chest forward. Lift those arms up to shoulder height. Squeeze the muscles tight here. There's no bend in those elbows. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on down. And we're gonna get into our core work exercise and then we're gonna go into our cardio burst. So core work is gonna be a full plank. This can be on those toes, hips in line with those shoulders, or you can be on your knees. If you're on your knees, make sure your butt isn't too far back, right? Make sure you're shifted forward to get the core engaged. You're up on those toes. We don't have that butt piped up. If this is where you're at, I want you to bring your knees down. Okay. Hold that foot right here. Just stillness to begin. We're gonna find a little movement shortly. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Keep that belly button zipping in towards your spine. Here's eight. Seven, we're gonna to come to a side plank on the left side in four, three, two, and one. Left side plank. So bottom knee can be up, or it can be down, up two. 
I'm holding on right here. Again, stillness, form is important. All right, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna come back to center on one, and then over to that other side, right hand. Okay, hold right here. Keep that belly pulling in. Push that mat away, lift those left fingertips high. That's it. There's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on back to center. We're gonna come to standing into that cardio burst. So cardio burst here is either just a squat to stand, or you can make this a parallel hop, where you literally take that hop and land. Soft landing, okay? We're gonna time this out. 30 seconds of our cardio burst starts in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So you can squat, using those hands as counterbalance. They can go wherever it feels good. You can bring them out. You can keep them on those hips or heart center. Good, keep that going. We're coming up on that halfway point. If you haven't tried that squat hop, now's the time. Squat hop. Good, keep it up. First cardio burst. We're gonna get into seat work next for the next little bit here. Last three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Check that out, you should feel that heart rate up. Okay, into those glutes. So we're gonna do standing. Facing your assist again. We're gonna keep the right foot as our base. The left foot is what we're gonna work. So for that base foot, a little bit in your knee. Left foot's gonna go back, and we should squeeze that leg super straight. So there's no bend. We're gonna hinge over the hip, so hinge forward into this kind of lean in position or seize off position. Hips are square. And then try not to lock out that standing leg, right? You want a soft bend. Don't lock out the right leg. Belly sits in. We're gonna flutter this back leg. It's a bend and press. Bend, press. Belly pulls in here. Good. Bend. Press. So this is all about the left glute. We're focused on that squeeze in the butt to keep the leg lifted, right? If you don't feel this, you might be giving too much bend and you're releasing that muscle, right? Or your leg might be too low. Lift it up a little higher, let that chest come down slightly. Then keep up those flutters. There's eight, seven, six, keep that up, five, Four, three, that's it, come on, here's two. We're gonna hold it right here on one. So arrow straight left leg, soften that right leg. And we're gonna do teeny little pulses down on that right side. So just want you to bend that knee another inch. Again, notice I'm not going all the way back to straight, right? You feel work on that right side. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one. All right, come on up. We're gonna change sides right away. So you need both sides of those glutes. Left foot is your base this time. Again, a little bit of that knee. Send that right leg back. Pull the belly in. Start to hinge over that left hip. All right, hips are square to the mat. And again, no locked out leg, except the right side, right? The right leg is super straight. Belly hips in. One more time, find that flutter. Bend, press, bend, Press, bend, press, bend, press, that's it. Bend, press, bend, press. Notice nothing in my body is moving except that right leg, right? Little bend, big press, little bend, big press. Come on, bend, press, bend, and press. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold that right leg still, a little down on the left, and up, little down, that's it, and up. Find that shake here, down, and up. Both legs are tired, down, and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Come on up. All right, 
into that upper body. We're coming down to the mat for push-ups. Wide push-ups here. So we're gonna set ourselves up on our knees. Hands come out as wide as your mat. Now as we shift those hips forward, those toes lift. This is basically like our wide, um, our plank position on our knees, except our hands are wider. Now your elbows are gonna come out nice and wide as you come down. Try not to let the butt sag down or pipe up. Right in line with those shoulders. Come down as far as feels good to you. We come down on two, up on two. In four, three, two, one. Here we go down, two, up to a soft bend. Down, two, up to that soft bend. Down, up, down, up. Don't lock out those arms to the top. Up, two, good. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Up, two, this is eight, seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two. After you get to the top here, I want you to find your low points, whatever that means for you right here. Maybe it's that 90 degree bend. Gaze is out in front of you. Set that belly to your spine. Let those arms shake. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right, come on up into core, we're gonna flip onto our backs. All right, all the way down to your backs. We are going to bring knees over hips, belly zipping down, your arms are along your sides. So knees over hips, glue your knees together. Now we're gonna take this entire shape of the leg down towards the mat. So notice as I inhale down, the shape of my leg doesn't change, right? And then I exhale, use that core to pull it back up. Knees stop right over those hips. They don't come too close to my face, right? All right, let's do this together. We're gonna inhale down, exhale up. The slower you do this, the better. So inhale down. Good, exhale up, two, three, four. Inhale down, two, three, four. Exhale up, two, three, and four. Inhale down, two, three, four. That's it, up, two, three, hold it here, good. So keep those feet together. I want you to open those knees up so those legs are in a diamond shape, right? So they're in this diamond shape. Keep them in that shape as we lower and lift right here. Inhale down, two, three, and four. Exhale up, two, three, and four. Inhale down, two, three, and four. Exhale up, two, three, and four. Come on, down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, Four, last eight, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, come on, here's five, and four, and three, last two, and one, bring it all the way up, all right, pull the knees into your chest, Roll up here. We're gonna come into our cardio burst again, 30 seconds. This time it's mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, you can choose if you do this fast. If you do this slow, you can bring knees in towards your chest. You can crisscross. It is up to you. Whatever you choose. 30 seconds on the clock. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Good. So those arms are supporting you. Good. Keep that going. Breathe for it. Good. Give that option to pick up the pace. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. Keep that going. I'm going to check our time. Almost there, guys. 10 seconds. 10 seconds right here. Come on. Dig in. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let that go. We're coming back to standing. We're back in thighs. All right, so wide second. We're going to take this nice and wide here. Hand on that assist if you need it. Heels in, toes out. We're gonna slide down like we're sliding down off. Belly zips in. Good, so just settle in here. We're working the top of those thighs. So notice I'm not taking my butt back. I'm stacking shoulders over hips here. Belly still engaged. All right, movement here is down an inch, then up an inch. All right, here we go. Down and up. Down and up. That's it. Down and up. Down. Up. Woo, down 
and up. Keep, keep those knees over those ankles. Up, down, and up, down, up, down, up. We're gonna hold it low, stay nice and low. Do your belly zips in. Press those thighs back, back. So knees are opening another inch while we stay nice and low. There's that shake. Woo! Try to keep it up. Right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold low on one right here. Stay low. Maybe you come down another inch. Maybe you release those arms to the sky for eight count. Eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Check out those thighs. All right, upper body, we're going to hit those triceps. So we're going to come back down onto the ground. So just like our wide push-ups, we're going to keep the knees together. This time the setup with the hands is a little different. They're right underneath the shoulders. But the rest of the body is the same. Bellies are thin, legs are glued together, knees are together, and we're shifted forward. Same movement, down two, up two. But this time those elbows don't come out wide. They come straight back. So I'm going to turn my body really quick. I hope you can see this. So when you come down, you'll notice my elbows go straight back. They're not coming wide, so it's not going to do anything for me. All right. So we're going to come down two, up two. Here we go. We come down for two, and then up for two. We need to really tuck two, up two. So the depth of this push-up is really up to you. Again, remember, we're working those triceps. Down for two. Up, first two, down, first two, up, first two, down, first two, up, first two, down, first two, and up, first two. This is eight, seven, six, or good, six, we've got it, come on, here's five, push, four, three, two, we're gonna finish the same way we did before. So after that one count, we come down to our low point and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Woo! All right, core work is gonna be next. So we're gonna do um, our alternating leg switches. So we're gonna come back down into our backs. And I think I might have to slide this so I don't take it here. So don't mind that. We do it this way. There we go. All right, so on to our backs. Right leg covers, left leg reaches up towards the sky. We're gonna walk those hands up behind the calf. So belly dipping down, you're peeling the shoulder blades up off the mat. Once you gaze up at those toes, so you don't hurt your neck. And we're gonna switch here. So we go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left. Good, here it is. Seven, woo, and six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that left leg in. Give it a little pull for a stretch. All right, switch to the right leg. Hold it here. We got a second set coming. Maybe you shimmy those shoulders up another inch. Belly just down. Gaze lifts up. All right, here we go. We switch, switch, switch. Switch, switch, woo. Switch, and switch. Here's eight, seven, keep it up for six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Whew. All right, cardio burst number three. 30 seconds. So we're going to do some step forwards um, or step taps. So right foot can be our base. We're going to hinge forward, and we're going to tap that foot in and back. Now, if you want more intensity, you can add those arms and pull that knee into the chest. It's up to you. We're going to go. 30 seconds right leg, 30 seconds left leg. All right, we're gonna wait till 
this guy's not going bad. Alright, here we go. Next one. Alright. 30 seconds, right leg forward. We'll switch. Right at that 30 second mark. Three, two, and one. So you can be here. Or here. stabilizing you. Give it up. More than halfway through. We're going to switch that left leg. In five. We're going to tip over. Here's four. Three, two, and one. All right, left leg forward. Here we go. On that clock. 30 seconds. Down, down, last one. Up, we're gonna 
hold right here in that plank for four. We're back in this plank position. No rest in between. Good. Okay, here we go. We got single leg drops. We're gonna bend the right knee, bend the lift. The left knee, bend the lift. Right, lift, left, lift, right, left. Keep it going, right, left, right, left. Good, four, come on, three, two, we got a set of doubles here in one. Here we go, double legs, down, lift, that's eight, seven, six, five, Four, come on all the way through. Three, two, and one. All right, off to standing. We got one cardio burst left. 30 seconds of work, and you are done. All right, so cardio set looks like this. You can stay in wide seconds and pulse right here, okay? You have an option to squat and hop landing that wide second, right? You also have the option to squat up to the middle, okay? Any of those three, 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So we've got these options, right? You can squat nice and wide. Got that hop. Whatever pace works for you. You have that central hop. Keep it up, halfway. Sit, come on. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Come on out. Woo. Shake that out. Really nice work, you guys. We'll take a quick forward fold here to stretch. Feet hip distance apart. Surrender down here. Let that head hang heavy. Shimmy out the shoulders. We're going to interlace hands below back. Send those knuckles high up and overhead. To stretch out the shoulders. Now release the hands to the ground. Bend nice and deeply into that right or left leg, excuse me, and straighten your right. Just transfer that weight over slightly. And then other side, bend into that right leg. Straighten the left. Coming back to center, zip your belly to your spine. Roll to standing. Ooh, two shoulder rolls back. One big breath together. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bring those hands together. Really nice work, you guys. Again, my name is Natalie. This was a bar class, a four round circuit with upper body, lower body, core, and cardio. Uh, check the site for more videos kind of like this, different formats, different exercises. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon.